Hey everyone, Steve again, uh, back with another Unity Asset Store review. Today we're going to be doing another art asset. It's going to be a low poly asset. It is the Junkyard One by iHappy. Uh, this asset uh, retails at 69 USD at the time of recording this. Um, my quick ratings, my quick rating overview. So I, I've said this in the past, and you can probably tell by my written reviews, but I work purely off a of pass fail grade. I don't give numbers, so everything is either up to snuff or it's not. So it either passes or fails. So uh, for quality, uh, I gave this one a pass. I think it's and quality is good as far as optimization and the way the models look and all that. Um, for modularity and workability, I honestly struggled with this particular one. I gave it a fail. And we'll get into why I gave it a fail in a little bit uh, once we dive into the actual um, demo scene and the overview scene. But I, I was torn. Ultimately, I felt that the negatives for this, for modularity and workability, outweighed the positives. So I failed it. Uh, support and serviceability, I gave it a fail um, simply because it's not really like you can't work with it outside of the context of the asset itself. And I'll explain how, what I mean by that when we get into the build in a little bit. And then the value, it's 69 bucks. I think it's overpriced. So I failed it on the value as well. Um, so, but we will dive into the, <clears throat> excuse me, demo scene here and go into why I think the things that I think about it. So, uh, as you can see, it's a sort of desert junkyard. Um, the shrubbery and stuff, or shrubbery, uh, so the, the flora, I actually think there's a decent amount of um, flora in this particular asset, and it's unique enough to like a desert scene, and uh, we'll get into some of it in the actual um, overview scene as well when we get to that point but uh, there's also different desert rock formations and stuff and different little uh, level clutter or, you know terrain clutter as well but we'll dive into some of that later on um, we've got the uh, sort of scaffolding um, or you know barriers there's a few different ones of these or a couple different ones of these we'll dive it will show in the overview scene those are decent. You can do a decent amount of stuff with them. Um, one of my big complaints and why I ultimately failed it on like modularity and serviceability is that uh, none of the buildings or structures have interiors. And um, well, there's no collider in here, so we're going to walk right in. You can see there's there's no <laughs> there's no interior. Uh, that to me is annoying. Um, but again, we'll get into that in a little bit when we get to some of the larger structures. Um, but yeah, there are no interiors on, on those sorts of things. The vehicles, the cars, and this is why, this is one of the big reasons that I passed the quality. Like there's a decent amount of broken down cars and enough variance where it's, it's to me, that's, that's worth it. Um, or there's, there's, there's value there. And we'll show how, and I'll show exactly how many there are when we dive into the overview scene. Uh, there's these tires. There's two different tire variants. There's tire stacks, and then there's single tires. Um, so I'll hop over here again. Go back to the entrance area. There's a handful of junk piles. I think four or five junk piles. There's the single tire. There are these um, sort of mud tracks. Uh, there's a couple of different variants of these, and these are, I think, useful um, to give different, you know, illusions, quote unquote, of uh, m things being drugged through the mud and all that. Um, there's more cars. Uh, I'm not going to go over there because it's just a lot of the same. Um, so there's a number of the junk piles up there. We'll go into the overview scene in a little bit. There's another one of the singular tires. Um, so there's a few different vehicles or construction type vehicles. There's a forklift. And then there are two different variants of these cranes. There's the 
like pincher crane and then a magnetic crane. There is a car compactor um, and then a you know garbage compactor. Can't really see it in there. We'll go into that in the overview. There's a few different pieces of random level clutter like this. Uh, there's barrels and pallets. There are signages, so license plates, and then a few different like that Route 66 sign and a couple other ones. There's a bulletin board over there that has a sign on it that you'll see. There's there's less of this type of clutter, like the the broken down car parts, like the hood there and the, the seat than I would like personally for the price that you're paying, but that is what it is. Barrels, there's a couple different variants of boxes and stuff like that. Here's more of that external scaffolding. There are wooden fences as well. Um, there is a bus, which as you can see also has no interior or you know no like seats and stuff like that no steering wheel it's just an empty shell uh, a water tower um, there's a tire pile there's a few different I don't know if you can see that sticking into the building but there's a few different like dead shrubberies like that as well um, there's more of those license plates uh we'll 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 get into the interiors quote unquote or lack thereof of the buildings when we dive into the actual um into the actual uh, uh overview scene but then there's a couple other construction pieces like a wheelbarrow and stuff like that there are these piles of cars which are one single mesh um that's more of the same we're gonna run out here it's again more of the same well in so there's station wagons as well. Then there's vans and trucks. Um, hop out here. So one of the reasons I'm not running over a lot of the things is because there are no colliders or anything to make the actual player character. Like I had to add a collider to the terrain and given the you know amount of things that are in the the asset i just wasn't willing to go through and add colliders to every single thing just to showcase it um these buildings as well so there's the bulletin board um these buildings are again there are no interiors which it, it, <laughs> it's disappointing um so well I'll, I'll get into it in the overview scene but then there are these uh, power lines as well and these are actually well modularized um, and I'll show that in the overview scene and it's one of the reasons that I am I I, I, I kind of struggled with giving it a fail on the modularity then there's the entrance area more buildings which also do not have interiors so we're going to unplay this we're going to go into the overview scene here and we'll start breaking stuff down one at a time um, so we'll do this first so you've got like i said a few different junk piles and you can play with these with the size and scale um just like with the mountains pack with bk i actually think that the rock formations here are kind of a dream come true um they're very very good they're decently modularized in a way where you can build some cool outdoor desert rock formations with them uh, these guys back here too um, however <laughs> they're not worth sixty dollars alone with the bk ones those are fifteen dollar assets like that is worth it sixty bucks for these alone that i is is not worth it in my opinion um the so here's a little more you know a couple more pieces of level clutter um uh or you know terrain clutter we've got a bunch of dead trees or a bunch of dead you know foliage again i like these i think are worth it <laughs> are are they sixty dollars worth it no they're not or sorry seventy dollars worth it it's sixty nine dollars uh so yeah i i i struggle to say that it's worth it based off of even though those are really good meshes those are really good assets those are really good prefabs they're not worth seventy dollars just aren't uh, you've got some live uh, flora here. You've got a 
good amount of cacti, cactuses, which again, are good. Like, I actually like these cactuses. Are they worth $70? No, they are not. Uh, a couple more rock formations, and then we've got the uh, dirt trails that I mentioned earlier. Now, what's cool about these is the way that they're textured. Um, to make them see unique, or seem unique rather, all you have to do is drag them through up or down in the terrain and tilt them, and then you can make it seem like they're, I mean, you can use those particular you know, dirt assets or stretch them even, but you can use those particular assets for making a number of different, like, you know, dirt dragging paths, which I, I like. Um, I like getting creative with, with assets that uh, otherwise, you know, like are a minimal amount of assets that you can just repurpose for a bunch of different things. So the power lines here too, like I mentioned, are really well modularized like they give you the poles they give you the variance of the poles of the boxes and then the single and then they give you a few different lines so you can make your own power lines like really well with those and again i think those are really well modularized are those alone worth 70 dollars? no they are not um a decent amount of wooden fence options a uh, decent amount of these junk fence options, a decent amount of these options. Again, I I like that. I I think that those are well done. Um, uh, a couple of porta potties. I actually forgot to check if these are. Yeah, these also do not have interiors. Um, you've got the signs, which are you know neat. They're fun. And the license plates. The tire pile is one complete. You know mesh so this is what i was talking about with the um, vehicle parts so there's those and then i think yeah over here too there's a couple other ones right i would have liked to see more of these more clutter um but whatever it is what it is uh you've got a couple of modularized um uh um like you know wall pieces essentially barriers these pipes are one mesh. Uh, these guys are not, right? So those you can use individually. You've got a few different boxes, like I mentioned, a couple different pallet options. Um, let's go to the buildings first, because this is one of my big gripes. So as you'll see, it's, it's yeah, it's not, I, I'm assuming that the thought was that you would use these to build your own buildings. Uh, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just sculpt the things myself. You know, um, there are no like actual functional interiors for any of these, which is disappointing to say the least. Um, uh, these ones also no interiors, as you can see, it's just, you know, he put, or the, he, I don't know if it's a he, the asset developer just i think expected people to use these for building their own stuff which i'm again if i'm going to do that i'm going to hop in a blender or something and build my own shit. uh that i think is one of the bigger um lack of quality aspects of this asset for again 70 bucks these bins these these trash bins are actually i think pretty decent um these guys and, and so th this is where it's weird it's kind of like the apocalypse uh asset by synthes studios you know they have <laughs> they took the time to make details with these and the those details are removable right but at the same time then they overlooked other things that i feel they should have done more with uh this one is also as you can see you can drop it down and there's couple of different parts that you can screw around with right um so you can bring the crusher up and down depending on what you want to you know have in your scene these guys uh you know i said there are two different ones i don't think that the magnetic one is actually in the previous scene but there it is there's a it's a slightly different arm on the crane and then obviously the magnet is different but everything else is in effect the same on that one um 
so the school bus like <laughs> it's 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 like they went kind of like with that Cintiq Studios asset, the the Apocalypse one. It's like they went halfway with the modularity. Some of the stuff is well modularized, and some of it isn't. Um, so the cars then are like there's a lot of junked cars here, and I like that. Like I really actually like that. Um, you know, you've got muscle cars, you've got trucks, you've got uh, wagons, you've got uh, more muscle cars, you know, and then you've got these piles of cars, which are all one, one piece. Um, uh, the vans too, there are the vans. Now, here's where it gets interesting. And this is where I have, I again, have some, some criticism about it. Uh, and ultimately why I, I failed it on that one option or on the, uh, modularity and workability, because these are all, as you can see, one mesh um what i would have liked to see is these doors be removable you know um because then i can really like even here like that disjointed door is part of the mesh i would have preferred to have seen again the doors be modularized the trunks be modularized which is weird because if you look here i'm going to try to do this really carefully uh, of course it's oh wait no it's not the wagon it is uh which one is it it's these guys here we go so there are trunk spaces in these but they just they created ones that they took the trunk off themselves i think the engine block is the same way you know so what what i would have liked to have seen for all of these vehicles is have hoods and doors that are either modularized attached to the asset itself kind of like a number of the Cintiq studio assets do and then have them have me be able to modify them whether it's a rotation or moving completely or whatever the case is be able to do that myself you know and they kind of did that a little bit with this guy over here they they have the assets there for some of them they just didn't go all the way with these guys. So I don't know, at, uh, asset developer, if you watch this, that would be my suggestion for a for an update is make those parts separate. Make it so as a designer, I can go in there and modify those components however the hell I want. Because as it stands right now, I have less options. <laughs> And as a designer, especially if I'm going to be buying art assets, I want options. I don't want to be locked into your vision of X, Y, or Z. I want to be able to modify it in creative ways as I see fit. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's my overall thought. And, you know, it's like that on a lot of these, right? Like, I would have preferred to have seen this, this trunk be a separate uh you know prefab that's nested under the master prefab and then i can even animate it if i want to have the trunk open i can animate it for a trunk opening stuff like that right um as it stands right now i can't so i think that those sort of lacks lack of um lack of uh uh forethought maybe for lack of a better term um those made me just i i i can't recommend this asset based off of that i i i wanted to i really did because i like the low poly aesthetic and i like seeing more developers beyond Cintiq to take up that mantle but i i i i think that this asset needs to have more modularity and more thought put into or more more thought put into the overall design of some of this stuff like honestly the buildings these buildings look cool and i would have liked to have seen interiors in these because i would actually consider using them in you know some of the projects that i'm working on for doing like some of the asset templates that I'm going to be going to be doing reviews on I'm going to build micro games for 
and I, I, I would have no problem using those in something like that. Um, or even, you know, even using it in a, a full release game. I mean, I, I think that the exterior design of these buildings is unique enough where you could do some cool stuff. But the fact that they're not enterable, um, that that really kind of frustrates me. Um, the other thing, and I, I, I mentioned this briefly when we were in the uh, demonstration scene, but none of this stuff, none of it has... Um, colliders built in which is annoying personally uh i'm not going to go through and add collider especially because there's a weird nuance where i wasn't able to apply at the base prefab level apply colliders to the base prefab level and then have it propagate through the entire scene that wasn't working for some reason i don't know why and i'm i'm not going to dive into it in depth if i'm being honest um but but yeah i i that's a pet peeve of mine. I've complained about it in other assets. Um, and I'll complain about it in future assets if they don't have it. But uh, yeah, I I would like to see that come out of the box so I don't have to, you know, dick around with it a bunch. Um, but yeah, look, I, I like the the flora is good, is worthwhile. The rocks are absolutely good and they're worthwhile. Um, you know, the uh, power lines are good. These guys are good. You know, some of these things which are modularized well are are good. Um, I just would I, I just for for 70 bucks, I really feel like they need to do a better job if this were a cheaper asset it would be a no-brainer i would absolutely pass it on you know the value and the sort support and serviceability probably um but but yeah as far as the as far as the um as far as the 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 value for what you get I, I, I do not think it is worth 70 bucks um, unless you get it on sale or you get it, you know, you get it because you specifically need one specific asset out of here. Um, I, I don't think that it's, it's worth the 70 bucks. Now, having said that, I make a point of revisiting assets if they get updated. So if this asset is updated and if some of those issues uh, like the vehicle modularity, if that's fixed, then I think that it's absolutely worth the money at that point. Um, but that specifically needs to be fixed. Like the vehicles not being modular, like that is a, that is an ultimate failure for me. Like the buildings I could even give a pass on, but the vehicles, it's a, it's a junkyard asset. The vehicles should all be modularized. The hood should be modularized. The trunk should be modular. The door should be modular. I should be able to modify those in any way, shape, or form that I want, and I can't. So if this is updated, if this asset is updated, and if that is addressed, I will, I will, I will make an addendum to this video, and I will... I will recommend it, but yeah, as of right now, I don't think that it's, I just don't think that it's worth the money. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, let me know. I mean, if you do decide to buy it and you do want to buy it, I'm putting a link to it in the description. Um, so check it out there if you want. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let me know what you think and I will see everybody on the next one.